welcome back to Top Cheddar Sports. It is Tuesday night. That means we're going to be talking some NBA basketball. Happy New Year's Eve to everyone. Uh, start of 2020, sort of a whole new decade, which is pretty crazy to think about. Um, it's been a fast decade. Uh, there's been a lot of great moments in sports, um, a lot of which we have had the pleasure of watching and talking about throughout the decade. Hope everybody had a happy holiday. Uh, it's going to be back. Um, we have two weeks worth of NBA news and stuff to cover. Um, let's start with just a recap of those Christmas Day games. They were all pretty good games. Um, so Toronto defeated Boston in Boston. Um, so a slight surprise there. I thought the Celtics would win on their home court. But they took care of business and good for Toronto. And then you had the Sixers defending their home court against the Bucks. Um, Sixers set an NBA or yeah, an NBA Christmas Day record with um, I believe they ended with 18 three pointers made in that game. So they were shooting the lights out. They came ready to play there. You had the Warriors beating the Rockets, which I thought was interesting. I know, I said before that game, um, really a week before. Christmas Day games that I thought that would be a closer game than people think. I didn't think Houston would lose, uh, but Golden State wins on their home court, so good for them. Then you had the Clippers-Lakers, which turned out to be a really, really good game. Um, back and forth fair. Clippers obviously came out on top there, and then the night wrapped up with the Nuggets and the Pelicans. But a bunch of good games there, um, good results as well. And very fun to watch, so good on the NBA, uh, taking advantage, basically, of Christmas Day and giving us five good games there. Bit of news for the week, uh, Carl Anthony Towns of the Minnesota Timberwolves reportedly is not happy there anymore, which seems to happen to every Timberwolves player that ever plays there. Um, there's talk that he's going to want to be traded, and the Golden State Warriors are reportedly keeping a close eye on this situation and would be the favorites to land Carl Anthony Towns. Now, I'm not sure what kind of package would be going back to Minnesota in order to land the all-star power forward center, uh, but I think it's very interesting for the Warriors. Obviously, Curry and Thompson are both out injured, and to add a guy like Carl Anthony Towns helps you, obviously, while they're hurt, but also imagine when they get back together, you could pair him with Draymond if you don't trade Draymond to get him. Either way, um, obviously that'd be an incredible ad for the Golden State Warriors. And if that were to be the case, if they were to get Towns and then Curry will be back from his broken hand sooner rather than later, Clay Thompson still kind of a question mark when he'll be back. But if you can add Towns, get Curry healthy. I know they're still in the bottom three in the league, which I'll get to in a minute. But man, uh, that is definitely a team that could certainly bounce back and make the playoffs and then potentially go pretty deep, I think, in the playoffs. That would be a scary team to watch, especially if Clay gets healthy come playoff time. Um, so the NBA kind of announced their um, top five players of the decade, which I wanted to run through briefly. Uh, we'll start at number five. So number five, they said James Harden. Um, James Harden has been the NBA scoring champion three times this decade. Um, he's won the sixth man of the year twice. He has been a consistent offensive player. Uh, one of the best scorers in the league, certainly. Probably the best ISO player in the league. And, um... The knock on him would be, I guess, his playoff success uh, because there's really not much to talk about there. But James Harden comes in at number five. Number four, uh, Kawhi Leonard. In at number four, Kawhi has won two NBA Finals. He has been the Finals MVP twice. He's won it with two different teams, which is impressive. And um, been an all-NBA defensive player, feels like, every year. Uh, so Kawhi Leonard certainly deserving there. Number three, Steph Curry. Curry, obviously all the NBA championships, um, he's number one in finals MVP, he's been the scoring champ once, I believe, and he's just been an all-star pretty much every season as well, and an all-NBA point guard pretty much every season 
for him. Um, so I think Steph Curry's deserving uh, to say he's three. Well, I'll talk about that after. So number two, they have Kevin Durant, um, obviously multiple-time scoring champion, all NBA teams every year, obviously on the finals championships. He is debatably the best player in the NBA when healthy. Very much deserving on this list. And number one, to no one's surprise, LeBron James, also a scoring champion a couple times, all NBA defensive team, all NBA team, finals MVPs, multiple championships, the man does it all, and not to mention that he's made the playoffs pretty much every year of his career. Um, so yeah, LeBron, I certainly agree with at number one. Durant, I think, should be in there. Kawhi, I think that's fair. I'm curious, guys like Dwayne Wade didn't make this list. Um, I know Kobe Bryant retired pretty early on in the decade, so I'm okay with that. A guy like Chris Paul, I think, maybe could be in consideration. Um, but for me personally, I would not have James Harden on this list. I would have... I would even have his teammate Russell Westbrook ahead of him just because of all that Russell Westbrook has done with his triple doubles and whatnot. But I think Dwayne Wade belongs on this list, uh, certainly for the Finals MVPs, but also for being a very consistent player of, for this decade as well. Um, there's a couple other guys you can make the argument for, um, certainly, but I'm not going to get too in-depth with this because this is already going to be a longer video, but definitely, definitely leave a comment down below who your top five players of the decade are and if you agree with the list that they put out. I definitely don't, um, but I, I see where they're coming from at the same time. Um, one other bit of news of the week, LeBron James notched his 9,000th assist um, this past week. He's only the ninth player in NBA history to do that. Um, I think that's even more impressive when you look at his natural position being small forward. I know he's been the ball handler on pretty much every team he's been, but when you combine 9,000 assists with all the points and rebounds and steals and blocks and everything that... Uh, LeBron James has done in his career certainly in my opinion the best player of all time but yeah ninth player ever in NBA history to notch 9,000 assists so LeBron that's off to you last but not least uh, as we do every week I want to end with the top three teams currently in the league and the bottom three so these six teams actually six teams I don't know what I just did there these six teams have not changed at all uh, There's the same six, but the order has changed around a little bit. So we'll start with the top three. Uh, Milwaukee is now the best team in the NBA. They leapfrogged the Lakers. They are now 29-5. and five. Their only loss from the past two weeks was that Christmas Day game to the Sixers. Uh, the Lakers are 26-7. and seven. They're now the second best team in the league. They lost to the Clippers on Christmas Day. And one other time somewhere in the last two weeks. I don't remember. I didn't write it down. And then the Miami Heat are still the third best team in the league. They are now at 24 and 8. Uh, your bottom three also haven't changed, but the order has the Knicks. The New York Knicks have jumped from the worst team in the league up to the third worst. Uh, they're now 9 and 24. The Golden State Warriors are 9 and 25 at the second worst team in the league, so they didn't move at all. And the Hawks have fallen from third worst to worst at 6 and 27. Um... Definitely thought the Hawks would be better than that. Not a playoff team by any means, but definitely better than that. So that sucks for them. Um, but that will do it for this NBA Tuesday. Um, the next time I see you guys, it will be... It will be 2020. Wow. Um, and we'll talk some NHL hockey. We have two weeks worth of hockey to cover. Uh, so tune in tomorrow for that. But yeah, leave a like, leave a comment, smash that subscribe button. Definitely let me know who your top five players are of the decade because I would like to hear about that. And then let me know if Carl Anthony Towns is enough to kind of salvage this uh, Warriors season or not. I think it is, personally. Um, but let me know what you think below. And I will see you guys next year.